This is a video instruction of how to play Christmas Lights the game. Christmas Lights is a game for two to four players that can be played with family or friends. A game usually takes 30 to 45 minutes to complete. The game consists of two decks of cards, the pattern deck and the bulb deck. The pattern deck contains cards which dictate the pattern a player must follow to build their set of lights. The bulb deck consists of six different colored bulbs, broken bulbs, and plug cards. The goal for each player is to complete three sets of lights. A set of lights is five colored bulbs in the order dictated on the player's pattern card. Shuffle both decks separately and deal five bulb cards and one pattern card to each player. Players place bulb cards in their hands facing away from them and towards the other players. Pattern cards are secret information and may be kept face down. The starting player is determined by the last player to have given a gift. The active player trades any one of the cards in their hands with another player's card. Both players are allowed to see the traded cards. They can choose to mark them in their hands by turning them upside down, or tilting them, or reordering them, if desired. The active player plays any one card from their hand into their set. If it fits their pattern, it remains. If it does not, it must be discarded. When starting the set, the player may determine from what end of the pattern card they want to start their set from. However, after choosing what end to start from, the pattern must be followed throughout all three sets. Players take any one card from their hand and place it face up in the middle of the table. Then they draw one card from the top of the bulb deck and place it face up beside the first card. The active player may choose any one of the cards to place in their set. If no cards work, then they cannot do anything more with the cards for themselves. However, they may choose to trade the other cards to another player for information about their hand. Trading for information can be asking a question like, do I have any plugs in my hand? Or where is my blue bulb? Or even, can you confirm that this bulb is pink? The question must be framed so that it can only contain one piece of information to the active player. If a trade is agreed upon, the active player asks a question and the other player answers it and takes the bulb. Traded bulbs must fit directly into the player's pattern or else they are discarded. Any time that a card is placed on the table, it cannot be returned to anyone's hand in respect to the yard sale phase of play. The active player draws until they have five cards in their hands. Play is then passed to the left and the next player becomes the active player, starting their turn at the Yankee Swap phase. Bulbs are placed in each player's sequence throughout the game. Bulbs must be placed in the proper order outlined on the player's pattern card. They are discarded immediately if they do not fit the pattern. If a mistake is ever discovered at any point in the set, any bulb beyond the mistake is discarded and play continues from that point in the set. Broken bulbs can be used to advance your set to the next bulb but do not count toward the pattern. You must fix broken bulbs before starting the next set. Broken bulbs are fixed when the correct color is placed over the broken bulb. After a player has completed a set, they may stack their set. This is referred to as a closed set. Plugs are placed between the sets, making the final layout set 1, plug, set 2, plug, set 3. Anytime a player sees a card in their own hand, purposefully or otherwise, they must discard their hand and redraw. The game ends when a player completes his or her third set of lights. However, all players must have equal turns so the game continues till the starting player is reached. Winning players must prove they completed their sets correctly by laying out their cards. In the event of a tie, the player who used the least amount of broken bulbs wins.